Hey gang, your old buddy Clay here. I'm hanging out at Mountain Music Exchange. Today we're going to talk about the all new Epiphone inspired by Gibson Custom 1963 Firebird. <laughs> First off, I think the thing you'll notice first and foremost is that striking ember red finish. Look at that. That is absolutely just a cool color. You don't really find a lot of Gibson guitars sort of outside what you'll call like the normal range of colors and like sort of your natural sunburst finishes, cherries, that sort of thing. But this one really stands out. It's a very striking guitar. Um, also, uh, my, one of my favorite things about this, I know some people are sort of on the fence about these, but I really, really like the Maestro Tremolo on these. I've, I've got a guitar at home with a Maestro Tremolo, and I really enjoy it. Just keep in mind, if you're using the Maestro, you're not going to be doing crazy dives. You're just doing sort of warbles or minor chord modulation. Sort of think in the same vein like you'd use a Bigsby or something like that, you know. But Another thing that stands out, those cool banjo tuners. Check that out. That is super, super cool. And I love the profile too. And of course, this is a neck through body, all mahogany. And so what you've got is the neck starts from here and basically ends all the way down here. You've got wings on the sides that are sort of glued to that, but you should get maximum resonance and sustain out of this guitar. If you've watched some of the Gibson videos on these, on, on the Gibson side of things with the Firebirds, they talk about it's a little bit more labor intensive to make these and they sort of have to change production around quite a bit to really get these uh, neck through styles out. That's why every now and again they'll come out with something like a Studio or the non-reverse Firebird. Those are just set neck bodies. Those are sort of a little bit more in line with standard Gibson production, but these are a, a whole different beast entirely. But Got beautiful Indian Laurel fretboard here with real mother of pearl inlays. Check that out. You also have a Switchcraft switch, Switchcraft input jack, output jack, I suppose. Uh, genuine Gibson Firebird humbuckers. Uh, you have Mallory caps. You also have CTS pots. So you really, really get a lot of high end appointments, high end features. $16.99 is the price tag on this, and quite frankly, it's got so much character and so much quality work that goes into this. If you, you know, you don't have like fret nibs like you would see on a Gibson, but this is super smooth all the way up and down. You have an ABR1 bridge here, or at least an ABR1 style, because you still kind of have the post there at the bottom. Oh, and another cool thing about these two, you also have your choice of strap buttons. Look at that. As to how you want that to hang. And of course, the back plate is that really cool, inspired by Gibson Custom. I love how they do like the diamonds that sort of go together like a Venn diagram. That's pretty cool if you're a nerd like me. You get a really good hard shell case with this. You get completely Gibson quality. When you're putting your hands on this, you just feel it feels quality. You don't feel nitro finish because it's not. It's a polyurethane finish, but you can just feel that there is a quality to this guitar that, that sits right at this price point. Without further ado, let's plug it up and hear how it sounds.
All right, gang, that is going to do it for this review or this little chat about this inspired by Gibson Custom 1963 Firebird. Again, that's Ember Red. Check us out on YouTube, of course, here. Check us out on Facebook at Mountain Music Exchange, Instagram at Mountain Music Exchange. Check us out on TikTok and also check out mountainmusicexchange.com. Check out that new arrival section where we update daily with new arrivals, gang. That's it. I'm going to keep on rocking this thing for a little while longer. I'm Clay. You rock. Have a good one.